If you want rainbow, you have to deal with the rain. Augustus. Stop this habit if you want to experience true joy. This quote is a reminder that we must embrace the hardships of life in order to appreciate the good times. What does it mean to you to deal with the rain? This quote suggests that happiness and joy are not simply given to us. We must be willing to face challenges and adversity in order to truly appreciate the good times. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. We cannot expect to simply stumble upon joy without first putting in the work to cultivate a positive mindset. Stoicism teaches us that it is important to focus on what we can control, which is our own thoughts and actions. By working on improving ourselves, we can create a more positive outlook on life, even in the face of adversity. The Stoics believed that we should not dwell on things that are outside of our control, such as the weather or the actions of others. Instead, we should focus on what we can control, such as our own thoughts, emotions, and actions. Just like the rain is necessary for a rainbow to form, the challenges and hardships of life are necessary for us to experience true joy. Imagine if it never rained. We would not be able to appreciate the beauty of a rainbow. Just as a rainbow needs rain to form, we need hardship to appreciate the good times. This is why the Stoics place such a high value on virtue, which is the ability to live a good and fulfilling life, even in the face of adversity. It is important to note that Stoicism is not about suppressing our emotions or pretending that things are not bad. It is about recognizing that we can't control everything in our lives and focusing on what we can control, which is how we react to those things that we cannot control. Think about the life of Nelson Mandela. Mandela was a South African anti-apartheid revolutionary, political leader, and philanthropist who served as president of South Africa from 1994 to 1999. He was the country's first black head of state and the first elected in a fully representative democratic election. His government focused on dismantling the legacy of apartheid by tackling institutionalized racism and fostering racial reconciliation. Mandela was born in a small village in the Eastern Cape province of South Africa. He was the first in his family to attend school. He went on to study law at the University of Fort Hare. However, he was expelled from the university for his involvement in student activism. Mandela joined the African National Congress, ANC, in 1944. The ANC was a political party that was committed to fighting apartheid, which was a system of racial segregation and discrimination that was enforced by the white minority government of South Africa. Mandela was a key member of the ANC's armed wing, Umkanto We Sizwi. The group carried out acts of sabotage against government buildings and infrastructure in an effort to bring about an end to apartheid. In 1964, Mandela and several other ANC leaders were arrested and charged with sabotage and other crimes. Mandela was sentenced to life in prison. He spent 27 years in prison, most of which were spent on Robben Island, a notorious prison for political prisoners. During his time in prison, Mandela became an international symbol of hope and resistance against apartheid people around the world campaigned for his release. He remained a committed advocate for racial equality and social justice even while incarcerated. In 1990, Mandela was released from prison after spending 27 years behind bars. He continued to work for racial equality and reconciliation in South Africa. He was elected president of South Africa in 1994, the first black president of the country. Mandela's story exemplifies how overcoming adversity can lead to tremendous growth and fulfillment. He remained focused on his goals throughout his imprisonment and never lost hope. He endured years of hardship and suffering,
but emerged as a symbol of hope and a leader for positive change. He exemplifies the strength of Stoic principles in action. It is easy to look at the beautiful rainbow and forget about the rain that brought it about. Life is full of ups and downs. We can choose to focus on the good times and forget about the bad. However, the rain is a necessary part of the process. It is what allows the rainbow to form. We are all like the rainbow. We need the rain to appreciate the beauty of our lives. Think about the quote and ask yourself what rain you have to deal with today. Are you facing a challenge at work? Are you struggling with a personal relationship? Maybe you are going through a period of financial instability. Regardless of your challenge, remember that it is a part of the process that will eventually lead to your own personal rainbow.